Okay. <laughs> Hello, dear friends. Good uh, afternoon. Such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. And uh, here I am. I mean, behind me is a train ride, train station, and it's a kind of uh, uh, a toy or tourist uh, attraction. So this place is Ardenwood uh, Farm. A family farm. It's a beautiful afternoon. I just want to go out and walk around a little bit. So let's uh, walk around and um, and blah blah blah. <laughs> now I can I can just walk around and uh, quietly. The sun is coming up, and uh, and uh, I use this moment to calm down myself, to quiet down myself a little bit. <coughs> so get myself, um, get my my thought and. Uh, and everything sort out a little bit. I didn't want to come here the very moment I am about to come, but uh, finally I decide, and uh, this is a good decision. Here is the story of, uh, of today. <laughs> so, Yesterday or the day before yesterday, a couple of days ago, I came to Fremont. For what reason? I searched for Shin for a lake, and then I found Shin Historical Historical Park, and uh, started to learn a little bit about uh, Fremont our neighboring city, kind of. And then I found it very interesting. I started to search online, and there are different kinds of videos to talk about Fremont. One or two minutes, one or 40 seconds minutes, explaining about some interesting places. They are very effective, very short, not like my blah 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 video that takes forever and not talking about anything. So I found those plays. I remember our school every year used to be, not this year, not last year, almost uh, almost every year our school had uh, a field trip to to Ardenwood uh, family farm. I remember my son has 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 been here with his class, and uh, he brought back um, a peacock feather. And uh, I just find, wow, this place I have never been, so I am curious what it is about. So uh, today I finish work early, and uh, during the weekend I was planning, oh, Tuesday I have half day off, let me come here. So I was planning this, but uh, today when I finished work, I got a phone call, a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, um, distracting. Some something not good happened, and uh, so I was hesitating: should I go or should I, should I go or should I stay? And. Uh, was hesitating, hesitating, as we always do when we cannot make a decision, right? When 
when <laughs> when we want to be lazy when we look for an excuse not to move around so finally I just decided to come here to take a look so that is the story of it and uh, it's a, such a simple thing I want to I want to go a little bit deeper on this and uh, talk about my reflection of today's decision whenever we see something good whenever we make a decision we need to keep on with it you know making decision is easy and you have uh, your hormone you have uh, your anticipation and that moment was really fun and encouraging but really taking action to follow with the decision we made is not easy it will always need effort need dedication and need action it is very easy to decide weekend i go to a party and during the weekend you just oh, why do I need to go? Let me just be lazy and stay at home, read a book or something. So we will stop making a lot of decisions because of our laziness. Because, uh, oh, this is a, a door, a gate. Oh, sorry. So we need to take action and we need to to move on we need to disregard all the noises that uh, disturbing us i received a phone call and that disturbed me that was also a reason that i do not come here and uh, then uh, I am tired after the whole morning, no break, no, 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 no recess, a whole morning with uh, younger children and uh, after, after lunch duty, after all this, I am tired, but that should not be the excuse for us not to go when we make a decision we need to carry on with the decision and uh, anticipating something good is always good so when I think oh I will go to see the park I will go to see some interesting place it is always good because at that moment you only think about something fun, interesting, tempting and uh, inspiring. You are not thinking about something you need to make effort. That was not the time to think about effort. But uh, when you really put yourself in the situation like this uh, this afternoon like when I finish my work when I am about to come here I can go back home to rest in my comfortable room which is dark and enclosed which is not comfortable but uh, we can be lazy or we can take the effort to come out do not allow ourselves to be 
obscured, to be blinded by, by the noise, by the challenge. We need to make a decision. We need to take action. Just do it. Do not think about anything. There is too much noise. There is just too much noise around us. Especially now. Especially me, we as teachers. I have never thought that our life could be in the center of, uh, of so many things. Well, we teach, we do tutoring because parents want to get their children good score. But now it's much more than that. I, I saw the debate between the parents group keep school open or uh, close school to go online. All these debates all have its reason, but uh, it uh, really makes me to think. Think about uh, my job think about uh, my life think about uh, the meaning of my life etc etc and uh, it's just uh, fascinating not only fascinating, it's, uh, it could be unsettling on the other hand. See the things happening here. See the degree of things happening here. This must be a private. This looks like a, a wedding wedding ceremonial place something and um, it's just so much so much is happening it's uh, more than my little brain can handle so there is a lot of uh, noise and you hear people you have you hear many ideas many opinions some ideas positive some ideas negative you are in a whirlpool of ideas opinions and uh, yeah that's uh, what I feel. It's just too much, too many things. There is a lot of noise. And uh, this is why I choose to come. I cannot control what is happening around me. Not even I cannot control. Smart people, educated people, and uh, and uh, knowledgeable people, capable people, powerful people. Nobody can control the situation. The situation is uh, is out of control if we try to control it. What I need is quietness is aloneness is serenity is solitude is uh, 
piece is a little bit isolation from all these noises. We cannot control what we cannot control. We can control this moment. This moment, I choose to come to a place that is quiet, that is peaceful, that is no disturbance. I choose this moment to calm, C-O-M-B, to, to calm through, to <clears throat> classify, to clarify my thought, to calm down myself and uh, and uh, to appreciate to appreciate life to appreciate that i can appreciate this piece of uh, quietness this piece of serenity and uh, to appreciate myself for making the right decision to come to this beautiful place and uh, this place I <laughs> Recently, I was listening to to some economic uh, 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 radios like story why we spend money, why we spend money that we do not need. Sometimes we see something good and we buy a lot. At the end of the day, we do not even use it. That reminds me of today. It's because your in your heart, you have a price for some product, for a value, for a value for this product. And, and uh, if the market make it looks cheaper than it, you feel you are making money. Okay, how I explain it. So if something sell for $1, ice cream one dollar a bowl and suddenly they make 50 percent discount and in your heart you always think this is a one dollar thing if i spend 50 cents to buy it i am i am earning there there is a, a price gap a value gap you feel you are earning something you feel you are benefiting <laughs> right if uh, if there is a, a big brand close suddenly uh, reduce price you will not think that I buy a pair of shoes only five dollar why do I need to spend five hundred dollar although it's a 50 percent discount you do not think about it we do not think about it we see, we have a, a target value and uh, a value of what we spend okay <laughs> i am not economist i will not talk about it but uh, there is something that really make me happy today i came to this park and uh, and uh, this park is <laughs> beautiful and uh, and this park, it's it's not a, um, a public free place. You pay for the ticket, and there are several price difference. Normal adult, just adult, four dollar. Senior, three dollar, and uh, so, some other things. 
one or two dollar student one dollar or two dollar and uh, and the children under five is free and a uh, four dollar is definitely I can afford and uh, I need to appreciate although I have not yet seen this place so I took out twenty dollar bill and give to that uh, gentleman at the gate cashier the person who work here a ranger and uh, he gave me the ticket and he spoke out here is $17 <gasps> so <laughs> I I was not yet reaching the age of senior but because of my white hair, I got <laughs> senior special. Okay, let's see. This is a, the white hair. And this one dollar is nothing. And um, it makes me happy. Look at this white hair. <laughs> so I didn't speak out. I am uh, uh, a couple of years shy of, uh, of the senior age. So it's kind of a, a secret between that person and me. He has his way of, uh, of caring for me and helping me save some money. And, um, and I appreciate and we both did not speak it out, did not open up that secret. You, you get that idea, right? Sometimes you go to a place and uh, <laughs> you get the idea. You get this little, little special treat and, um, and you immediately feel there was a generosity of another person. There is a kindness of another person. Anyway, <laughs> uh, it really lightened up my, my heart, my soul to, to have a walk here, to, to relax myself here. I do not think this place is open. The Patterson House. And also, uh, it's not so important to know the history, learn about the history of this place. It is important, but not uh, for today. Today, my goal is very pure, very pure. I just want to cleanse myself. I want to think nothing, do nothing, no more pressure, no more stress, no more obligation, and walk my way as I want, wondering, oh, this is so, so good, so good. Thank you very, very much. I love you. I really do. Do, 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 do. Bye bye, friends. Today is blue, <laughs> even the shoes. You can see blue, a pair of walking shoes, blue. Bye-bye. <laughs>